Okay, this is VK3 Bravo Lima. We've just um, moved the camera so that it's really close to the screen you can see. And I'm just gonna let Chris know that um, we're ready to go. So here we go. I don't know about you guys, I kind of like the sound of PSK31. It's sort of rhythmic. So um, yeah, I enjoy it. I can, of course, just turn my, um, my uh, receiver off so I don't hear my own transmitted signal. But I just find I like to hear it. Uh, that's just my preference. Tell me about yours in the comments. Okay, let's see if uh, Chris comes back to us. Here he goes. Okay, so I... Not the best to code on that one, but uh, he is only using a few watts. Uh, let's tell it. Is he still? No, he's finished. We didn't get the best decode on that one. Can you please try again with your working conditions? Thank you. And we'll send it over. So I kind of like that the, the radio actually shows a timestamp. Um, all your messages. You can actually log these things to the SSD card. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, I'm, I'm really, I'm, like the rest of the world, I'm sucking into FT8. So, uh, it, look, it's good to play with um, PSK again, but uh, I, I called CQ for about 30 minutes before on 20 meters, even though the band was open, and uh, no one came back to me. So we, ha we had to make a sked for this one. Let's see how we go. Okay. Jared. Okay, so we're receiving quite nicely now. Band conditions are good. That's coming through really nicely. Now, do remember, he is only using um, a QRP with a, a Yaesu FT817. And um, I'm using legal limit of about 100 watts. I have quite a quite a large antenna system that I'm listening to him on. It's a dipole up 14 meters high, and uh, some call it an extended double Z for 20 meters. Others call it a G5RV. I quite um, I quite like it. Okay, so we've got a little bit of band fading there. Basically, the set is stations on 817. He's using a Samsung ta uh, tablet. It says Wolflink Digital Interface, Android PSK software. Now, I'm not sure if Wolflink is, uh, is right. Um, dear Chris, can you please repeat the name of the software? I, rec I received Wolflink QSL, and we'll send that back to him. I really like that. It's it's quite fun to use. Now this keyboard I got, it's just a cheap keyboard. It's not a Bluetooth one. You probably don't want a Bluetooth one. Um, you just want a, a cheap one that has a keyboard and mouse built into it and pr presents two devices to the computer. So one way to test you've got the right keyboard is to plug it into a, a Windows computer, go to Device Manager, and see if it shows up as a, a mouse and a keyboard. Okay, hardware digital interface, and let's see what he's saying. It's hardware interface is called uh, uh, Wolflink. I think it's Wolflink. That's what I keep getting, so um, I'll have to look it up. But um, yeah, QRP. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But look, I think it's doing a fantastic job. Chris is a, a, a VK1. Um, so he's over in um, the Australian Capital Territory where our, all our politicians live. They're all in the one place. It's rather convenient, but um, basically we isolated them and put them all in this city in the middle of nowhere. So that's where Chris lives. I hope he's not a politician, but um, <laughs> we don't talk politics anyway. So, uh, so his call sign is uh, Victor Kilo 1, Charlie Tango. 
Okay. All good there, Chris. Thanks for the skeds today, and it's been really fun using PSK31 again. I can't believe we needed a sked. Um, I remember the time the bands used to be full of six. 73 and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks again, mate. And we'll send that off. There's a small uh, spelling mistake in there. Just like a computer, I could have uh, pressed backspace and fixed it, but at the end of the day, it's not really that important. Um, that's one of the fun things about PSK. It doesn't have error correction. It is quite fast. It uses very little bandwidth. Um, uh, I think it sounds nice. Um, and at the end of the day, you get the, the message usually gets across. Even if you don't, even if you drop a character or something here and there, um, it, it's good enough. It's like CW in that respect. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll end it once we get a, a 73 back from Chris. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos and please do let us know what you would like to see. Um, next weekend with CQWW, CW, the um, biggest uh, contest in the world according to their website, we'll hopefully be doing some um, tests on the selectivity and um, how it handles strong adjacent CW signals. So. I know a lot of people want to see that. They want to see it compared to the 7300. That's what we'll be doing. They're both here on the desk, ready to go. So please do stay tuned. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone's support. Um, as the screen says, this is your host, Jared, Victor Kilo 3 um, Bravo Lima. Okay, what's he saying? He hasn't used PSK for about 10 years, so there you go. Um, he's just saying, yeah, he, he's, he guess ops have moved on. Um, just saying they've moved on to more recent digital modes. At least this is a, a good example of um, the Dakota. It's, it's coming across really nicely at the moment. I'm going to write my reply. Press the arrow key. Actually went up, so you can edit it just like you would uh, in a Word document, which is kind of cool. Um. All right, we'll say goodbye. Sending this one off, and uh, I'll ask my lovely production manager and assistant um, to stop the video basically after I've sent this message because I think we've sort of covered it really. Um, it you know it's a, it's a bit of a slow thing to record on video, but uh, you get to see how well the decoder works. And I think you know once you've got yourself a, a little USB keyboard like this, it's just fantastic. You know when you're not using the mode, you grab the keyboard, you put it somewhere else. Big deal. Um, the only thing I find annoying uh, about having a keyboard plugged into this radio, and I'll show you in one second, well, I can show you now, is that if you've got a mouse on your keyboard, there's always a mouse cursor, and you can't hide it. It just stays there. So, you know, I'm moving the mouse around now, but um, I just put it up into one of the corners where I can least see it, because, yeah, unfortunately with this, I can't turn the mouse feature off. So that's one downside to having the double keyboard, but um, you know, I, I think that's a small price to pay, and I think it's something Icon will fix in firmware. There'll be an option to hide the mouse cursor after a while. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is Jerry, VK3 Bravo Lima, 
And I'm going to say uh, 73 to everyone. Thanks again.